today I've got a set of 6.2 L86 uh, cylinder heads on the workbench here. And what I'm going to be doing with these is they are getting this uh, Texas Speed spring kit. Uh, these are the dual springs. And they come with the titanium retainers and new valve seals. So this is for the 6.2. If y'all been following along, it's getting a T56 manual, which we're not going to be doing, but it's getting a big cam. Um, and I think long tube headers, LT4 blower, stuff like that. So it's going to be a pretty cool build. So I've already got the stock springs on this side uh, knocked off. So what I was going to show is two different methods to removing the springs. Um, I have the regular traditional spring tool here. These can be used to remove and install the springs. And then I'm going to show you my method of removing springs a little bit quicker. So once you get your spring tool tightened down, then all you gotta do is just run this down here and that'll pop out your locks. And if you want, you can come in here with just a magnet and get your locks out. Like that. And that's pretty much it. Take your spring tool back off. And your springs are free. And that doesn't take that long, that's not that bad. Or, the other method, get you a 7 8 deep socket, stick it right on top of that uh, retainer. It's a nice hammer and done. Done. So there's two different methods you could use uh, when taking the springs off cylinder heads. If you're wondering where all the locks went when using my method, they're sitting right here. So they just kind of fall down and there's a little uh, spot they can just slip out. So they kind of uh, stay put underneath the head. So you just go back and pick them all up. So what I do is I put them on a little magnet uh, right there. So I don't lose them because we reuse those. So to get the valve seal out, super easy process. Get your pair of channel locks. Try not to touch the uh, valve stem with anything. Just reach in there, grab it, give it a couple twists and pull. Done deal. Just like that, nothing to it. So next what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the new valve seals on, but before I do that, take you a little bit of grease, put on that valve stem. There's the groove in the valve stem that holds the locks in place. And what you don't wanna do is tear your new seals when you're passing through that groove. So just a little bit of grease goes a long way and it will keep them from tearing. So you get your new seal and you just kind of work it slowly over that little groove once you get past that you're fine and I don't push them down until I get them all on so just get it past that groove and then we'll come back in with a socket and push them or pop them sometimes you can push them by hand sometimes they just need a little pop with a socket in the hand. so now I'm just gonna make sure these seals are fully seated on the cylinder head so just that's it you can hear the change uh, sound there They almost go all the way down by themselves. They just need a little encouragement. And I'm just barely tapping. All right, so we're getting ready to install the spring. So next, what you want to do is get your rag, just kind of fold it over, lift the head up, and shove it underneath. Uh, 
where those two valves are that you're gonna be working on. That'll keep the valves upright. It'll keep them from kind of falling down because um, they can fall down just a little bit enough to where it makes it a little bit harder to put the, uh, the lock in once you get the retainer going. These springs go on either way. They're not directional. They're the same size, top, bottom, does not matter. This tool is Bluegrass Motorsports. I believe it was off of Amazon, uh, maybe 50, 60 bucks, something like that. You just wanna make sure that your tool is centered with the springs before you start compressing. Then you're going to come in with your lock and that grease we used earlier will help you a little bit. It'll help hold this lock. So you put your lock in that groove. It's cone shaped, just like the LS's are. These are, they use the same locks. So it has that little rib in there that catches that groove. You want the small part of the cone shape facing down, large part facing up. Now, if you try to use the impact now to remove the tension on this, it shakes around too much and it's gonna just knock your locks off. So just use a ratchet, like so. And once you get to a certain point where there's tension back on those locks, like it is now, you're good to go. finished up uh, springs are installed done deal um, all in all I mean I think I started around three o'clock it's almost four o'clock now so roughly 45 minutes to an hour to do the job of course that's with me setting up a camera moving the camera getting different angles stuff like that so 
Real time, you could probably knock this out in about 30 minutes. This one is the LT spring tool, Gen 5 LT. This one is the LS. Very similar, but I can tell you the LS spring tool will not work on the LT. If you're interested in the same uh, job for a LS, um, I think it's probably my second video I ever did, maybe third video I ever did. So we've already done one on the LS. This is one on the LT. So like always, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share, ring the notification bell. Have a good one. We'll see you on the next one.